Hello, welcome to Pike Creek Farm. It's breezy here today. You can hear the wind chimes. I hope they're not too loud for you. My grandpa made those. No, the early 80s. And my mom had them and then she gave them to me. But if this is your first time here, thank you so much. My name is Renee and welcome to Pike Creek Farm. We are in the thumb of Michigan and I like to do videos on canning and vintage recipes and just life here. And one of the things I do during the summer is veggie box. And here is this week's veggie box. And hope I'm talking loud enough. You can tell fall is coming because Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. My husband not so much, but that's okay because I can eat all of those. So that was the first thing I noticed this week. I have another brown bag full of little um, okra. And I took the recommendation from some of you and I'm cutting them up and I'm flash freezing them and we'll have them to add to soups or to fry up or whatever we decide to do with them. And I might pickle some too, because I'm gonna do some random pickles and I will do some that way too. I like them kind of on the spicy side for pickling. Oh. And now to the tomatoes. Here's a heart-shaped one. <laughs> this is that Russian one. Oh, and here's another zebra. You can see the color. Uh, one, two, three, and then another slicing tomato. Perfect for BLTs and salads. Oh, beautiful acorn. Butternut squash. We like this just baked and mashed up, but I also like making a crock pot um, soup out of it, butternut squash soup. I add some apples and if I have sweet potatoes and onion and celery and broth and let it cook and puree it up, it's really good. A little bit of Greek yogurt on top. We're still getting sweet corn. One, two, three, five years. And it's so good. Last week, I was home alone and I just took a cob of corn and I um, cooked it and cut it off and I added laughing cow light cheese and uh, a little bit of jalapeno and a little bit of mayonnaise, light mayonnaise, and then the tahini, that Mexican the seasoning, T-A-J-I-N. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Kind of like the street corn, I guess. I don't know. How close it is. Oh, another ear of corn. Six. Half a dozen. Another eggplant. And this week I did another batch of the ratatouille in the crock pot. I added one jalapeno. Ooh, made it a little spicy. And I also had some chicken breast that I needed to use up that was thawed. So I dropped that in there too and packaged that up for lunches. So it'll be grab and go. I can just take it, let it thaw at work, heat it up. Beautiful yellow zucchini. <laughs> Green bell pepper and then one bell pepper starting to turn. A green zucchini. One, two, three onions. Ooh, still getting cucumbers. Here's three of the nice chubby, well here's two of the chubby pickling ones and then two slicing ones. I take, I like to snack on cucumbers, I make different cucumber salads. I haven't made the creamed ones in a while. Another bulb of garlic. Is it a head of garlic and the individual things are the bulbs? Some more fresh garlic. Wax beans and green beans. I have been canning up green beans from my garden and then I'll add these in it too and I've pickled some too but we tried a jar that I canned from ours just plain with a quarter teaspoon of salt in each pint. They were perfect. They needed nothing else. 
I thought I want to try, you know, a pint to make sure we like them because um, I wasn't sure what kind of beans they were. They weren't what I expected. I thought I planted bush beans and they're pole beans. <laughs> and they're not, they're not as round as these. They're a little flatter, but they're not like fat like the Italian. So I don't know if they're Kentucky Wonder because I usually plant Blue Lake and woo, some runaway potatoes. We have to dig ours up yet. So I am making stuffed cabbage today. I'm going to church. I already have my meat mixture made up and I come home and I'm going to get a big roaster in the oven. It's cool though here today. So a perfect day to have the oven going. And then I will use my Wevac to package up the leftovers for meals this winter for us. Very simple, very easy, and we really enjoy it. And I don't want those cabbage to go to waste that I grew because they're beautiful. And I've already pickled some and done, I've made egg roll in a bowl and other things, but stuffed cabbage was like my main incentive for growing it. So it's on the list for today. Look at the potatoes, they're so good. So I think it's just a beautiful basket. Some will get eaten fresh, some will get preserved, and we will have wonderful meals this winter and wonderful meals right now. So I gotta figure out what to go with the stuffed cabbage. Um, potatoes, usually Jim likes potatoes, and then a side vegetable. So maybe the green beans, maybe I'll saute up those or cook some of the corn and cut it off the cob. Uh, we like it on the cob sometimes, but not always the after effect with getting it out of your teeth. I think it's part of getting older. But lots of good stuff this week. And these boxes will keep coming into October. He does an amazing job you know, lengthening out the season and keeping everything coming. So I always find it kind of interesting to see um, what changes, you know. In a week, I am getting a lot of corn to can from a friend who planted and his is gonna be ready around September 12th, he said. So he said, as much corn as I want. So I will be freezing and canning corn and I'll be making some of the ball Mexican corn. And I wanna make a batch of succotash because I have lima beans in my garden and I wanna do that. If I make succotash, I will bring you along because I can it. So if there's anything else that you would like to see or any suggestions you have for me, please let me know. I appreciate all of the ideas because sometimes it's hard to think of it all on your own. And I find it so fascinating what different areas do and you know, different parts of the country. So, and I love to experiment with food. So thank you for joining me today. We'll see you next time at Pike Creek Farm.